Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Howard Robbins and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about stretching. While many experts feel that you shouldn't stretch before you run, some people feel that it's important that they do. Um, if you're going to stretch, you have to warm your muscles up first. There are two basic ways to warm the muscles up gently before you stretch them. The first is to mark time march in place just for two minutes. The second method is to get on your back and bicycle in the air for a couple of minutes. There are two basic stretches we can do while we're sitting on the ground. One is called kiss the knee, which basically stretches the hamstrings, the muscles behind our thigh. It's performed by laying on your back, putting your hands behind your knee, and pulling your knee to your chest and holding it there with constant pressure for 20 seconds. At the end of 20 seconds, you let your leg come all the way out and then repeat that again for another 20 seconds. It should be done three times per leg. The second stretch that we can do sitting down is called the belt stretch. It's also been called the towel stretch, or in this case, the string stretch. What you do is you sit up straight with your arms straight, your back straight, and then with your foot relaxed, you lean backwards, and this lets you pull your foot with your body weight towards your upper body. At the end of 20 seconds, you let your foot go and it should relax and return to the starting point. Repeat this again three times per leg. The third pre-exercise stretch is the anterior leg stretch. In this stretch, you grasp your ankle with the same hand and you pull your heel into your buttock. Make certain that your thigh is out in front of the leg that's straight, that you're su that's supporting your body. The anterior leg stretch has you lifting your heel up into your buttock and holding it there for 20 seconds with the thigh that's being flexed out in front of the leg that's supporting you. Let the leg come straight out after 20 seconds and then repeat the stretch again no more than three repetitions per leg. After you're done exercising, that's when your muscles are beginning to tighten up. I know it's when you feel loosest, but that's when stretching is really most important. Now we want to do our powerful, active stretches to stretch those muscle fibers back out to their normal physiologic length. There are several basic stretching exercises that we do. First, the anterior leg stretch that we performed before is repeated again, only this time the thigh is kept even with the supporting leg's thigh. So we grasp our heel and we pull it into our buttock, but now both thighs are even. We hold it for 20 seconds, we let the leg come straight down again, and then we repeat it. All post-exercise stretching should be performed five repetitions at 20 seconds each repetition. That's only one minute and 40 seconds for each exercise. The next stretch is for our hamstrings, our rear leg muscles. This stretch is called the bent over stretch. We place our hands on our waist and we begin, we bend our knees and we begin to bend over with our head straight up and our back straight. When we're halfway bent over, we thrust our buttocks back upwards and this puts a stretch into the belly of the hamstring. We hold this position for 20 seconds and then we straighten up and we repeat it. The next stretch is for our calf muscle, and it's called the against the wall stretch. You can use a tree, you can use a wall, you can use a fence, you could use almost anything. This stretch is done by st putting our hands face level or higher against the wall. We take a step back with our feet and legs still held shoulder width apart. We bend our front knee to a right angle. Our rear leg 
is perpendicular to the wall or fence, and our heel must remain flat to the ground. Then we lean into the stretch, letting our forearm support us against the wall. We push away from the wall, and we squiggle our back foot back to get a little more stretch out of ourselves. And we lean into the stretch again for the second repetition. Keep your back straight, your arms against the wall, and your head straight. Front leg is always bent at 90 degrees. Push away and repeat the stretch again. All post-exercise stretches are 20 second stretches. Never bounce in a stretch, that's very important. The last stretch I've always nicknamed the Superman stretch. In this stretch, we use a park bench or a seat of a chair at home and the back of the bench as well. We could put our foot up to different levels to stretch the muscles in the back of our leg in different places. In this stretch, what we do is we pull our foot very forcefully towards our body. We put our hands straight out like Superman going to fly, and we lean slightly forward, letting our fingertips rise up and hold that position. The more you pull your foot towards your body, the stronger the stretch will be behind your leg. Make certain that your foot is pulled very strongly towards your body and that your hands are straight out in front of you. Lean into the stretch and let your fingertips rise up. This keeps your back straight and prevents any back problem. As you'll learn, it is not necessary to bend over and curl your back to stretch your rear leg muscles. All these stretches are done for 20 seconds and repeated five times per leg.